What is up everybody, Hockey Stuff Guy here again, and today was the last day for all NHL trades to go through. Wow. I did not expect this coming from the Bruins, honestly. They gave up two second round draft picks for 2016 and 2017 towards Tampa Bay for their right winger, right shot, 6'2", 185 pound right winger, Brett Connolly. He was drafted... In the first round, sixth overall in 2010. But in his years in Tampa, he's been getting sent down to the AHL and back up to the NHL. Uh, he w he has some outstanding points in the AHL, but not making himself proven in the NHL at all yet. Um, but he might be a second-line winger or a third-line winger for the Bruins. Uh, I don't know. I've seen some of his highlight videos. I, I mean... Before the trade even happened, I r barely heard of him. I I've heard of him a couple times when the Bruins played him, but honestly, never heard of Connolly before before that. And I'm like, how, like, ugh. It, it was kind of shocking, but honestly, I think it was a decent trade, knowing that he's 22 years old, I believe, and he's young, and he still has talent to probably get his shit together in the NHL. Other trades, uh, Jordan Caron. He was all right. He was fighting for a roster spot for like three years, but can ne like n can never get it. Um, he went to the Colorado Avalanche and returned for Max Talbot. Max Talbot, kind of a veteran player here. Went to two Stanley Cup Finals, I believe. I believe so. Maybe one for Flyers back in 2010. I'm not sure, but I know he was on Pittsburgh for the 2000 and 2009. He has a Stanley Cup to his resume, so... Honestly, veteran player, I think he's 32, um, big guy, big body, hopefully he can get the go those greasy goals, maybe put up his body a little bit more, and uh, see where that comes from. Also, I did not like today at all, Craig Cunningham's gone as well, which I don't care about that. I'm just pissed off about that Torelli didn't make any more trades. You gotta make roster movements, man. You have to. All of the fans are pissed off if you go on Twitter. Like, I don't know. I don't know the future. I'm not the GM. I don't care. But it's like, what the fuck? There should have been more trades. Have you seen what Anaheim's doing, dude? Anaheim is the second best team in the NHL. And they're fucking sending trades left and right. It's ridiculous. They got fucking, uh, who'd they get today? Wisniewski, right? Uh, yeah, the defenseman on uh, Columbus. I think it was Wisniewski. I believe so. Yeah. Anyways, they fucking got him, and it's ridiculous how they're just shoving up trades up their ass, and they're still in second place. Why can't we do that with the Bruins? Honestly, we didn't sign Sean Thornton. I don't know why we didn't. That pissed me off back last year. You broke up that fucking fourth line. Pie, Campbell, and Thornton. Back in 2011... In the finals, we were down 0-2 in Vancouver. A reporter asked Peter Shirelli, are you going to put Thornton in for Game 3? Why should I do that? Shirelli commented. And then he still put him in. And guess what? Sean Thornton, first shift, hits someone, gets the crowd on his feet. Five seconds later, boom, a goal. Slap shot by, I think, Andrew Ferentz. That's what's made the team, too. Our physical presence. You took Johnny Boychuk away. Big physical presence. Anyways, I'm not going to go back to the Boychuk shit. But all, in all honesty, if you want to fucking make the playoffs, Bruins, you got to play fucking hard. This, these last couple months, it's going to be hell. You have a tough fucking lineup. I'm just, oh, I'm just so pissed. It's not the same. Just make it happen. All you got to do. Play physical. <laughs> We pussied out this season. Lucic has become a pussy. Straight up. Not going to lie about it. He doesn't hit that much anymore. Our fourth line is gone. We have randoms. We only have... We have our line switched up. We have Campbell on the fourth line. Then Pi is up on like the second or third line now and then. It's not the same. We need... Um, hopefully Talbot and Connolly will fill these positions up and play their roles for the rest of the season into the playoffs. And plus, we didn't 
use Krejci's cap space because honestly, I think he's gonna come back before playoffs because hopefully he he'll heal faster. But anyways, guys, let me know what happened. Like, what do you what you think about the Boston Bruins and their fucking trade deadline day? So, anyways, guys, this has been Hockey Stuff Guy. See you later.